Hey, it's Brian here again from Quantlabs.net. More Q&A from the same person as before, and that's okay because we like Q&A. This question is regarding revolutionary analytics. This enterprise platform scales on clouds and is integrated with high performance uh, Mathlib and from Intel, CPU assembly, blah, blah, blah. Some highlights below for you. Any thoughts? And this is uh, going against MATLAB. Okay, first let's talk about the product. Uh, we got revolutionary analytics for those that don't know it. It's basically taking our open source and trying to apply it to the world of the enterprise so the enterprise can buy it. And maybe they ban it, maybe they're not. I don't know, and who knows. Anyways, I have reached out to these guys or they reached out to me or something, trying to get a presentation out of them. That was last year, that time in has come and gone, never heard back, and uh, that's okay, because we like our MATLAB, and we know that MATLAB blows the doors off of anything, R or Python, and here's why. Let's talk about this performance and power. Multiprocessor per performance. Linked in with this Intel MKL multi-threaded math libraries, revolutionary really uses the power of multiprocessors. Woo! Here's a video. Let me go back to where we just were. Okay, so it's using the MKL multiprocessors. Yeah, so what? I can do the same thing with MATLAB. I can tightly integrate it into any GPU processor I want, but why would you want to do that when you have something called FPGA, if you really need the speed? GPU and all that type of processing is really good for back testing, for live production. I don't know, I'm not an expert, but I do would prefer to do with FPGA. But again, that's another animal. I'm not a, a high performance kind of guy. I'm hopefully yet. But even if I am or not, because of the power of MATLAB, I can easily convert my models, because if I generate them in Simulink, at the touch of, not a button, but a couple, a few processes, I can pretty well get them into an FPGA compliant, and even get them uh, compiled through the process from the major uh, board manufacturers like uh, Xilinx and uh, Altera for FPGA. And that is the zero ultra lowest latency you can get possibly and, and forget all these multi-processors and all that because FPGA is the way if you really want again ultra low uh, frequency on high um, frequency trade now in terms of our revolutionary analytics that's fine but that's technology that was introduced three years ago and the way math works and MATLAB works it will make a lot of things very obsolete on each and every major upgrade and um, this, this feature is kind of kind of uh, yesterday's news. We'll just leave it at that. R25 benchmarks. Now, this test script, quick running survey, general R performance, community, three sets of referred to matrix library. Again, okay, uh, what does that mean? Um, again, is it in C or C++? Is it FPGA? If not, then no, no, no offense to anybody, it's still not going to be the fastest that you can get. Maybe close, but won't get it. Note the revolution it performs even well on single threaded tests, result optimized with the Intel MKL library. Slightly greater than linear speed up, maybe due to greater total crash. Okay, fine. Um, so, time series, classical ARIMA, Kalman, volatility, unit, dynamic, wavelet, analysts, and more. Risk management, VR, blah, 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 blah. Again. All this stuff, yesterday's news, wake up, smell the coffee, MATLAB will blow the doors off of all of these. Now, if costs are a constraint for you, you have two choices. You either pay up or you're going to spend the same amount of money to get this product up to the same level of a C or a MATLAB system. Think about it. It's up to you, but we'll leave it at that. Have a good day.